I want to share now a little uh, sextortion story I've just been made aware of. And I've just been and spoken to uh, some friends of a friend whose teenage son, 14 year old kid, has just been uh, caught up in a sextortion scam. This kid has been exchanging messages with a girl, young lady on Facebook for the past couple of months, in the past couple of weeks. They started sending each other, how can we put it, indecent images of them doing things to themselves. A lot of people do it, right? Well, yesterday the kid got a message saying, including all the pictures returned to him he sent her and videos um, saying he better come up with 500 euros in crypto, Ethereum or else all his pictures and videos that he sent to this young girl, lady will be shared with all his friends on Facebook, etc. Typical sextortion scam. He freaked out, finally told his parents because he was a little bit emotional. His parents freaked out because it could be highly embarrassing for them highly embarrassing for him ruin his reputation especially uh, somebody how can we put it very nice guy but a little bit shy to have his picture shared with every, all his school friends and everything else so complete mess in that household put it that way uh, my advice to the family was don't bother paying because you're not going to guarantee that the uh, that the images are not going to be released, and if you pay once, you always pay again. Basic shit, right? Um, all I could advise was come off social media. He's got to bring down all the social media. That's it. Take everything down. Don't respond to anybody. Well, the basics. If you put up new profiles, don't respond to anybody you don't know. Never add anybody you don't know. Don't talk to anybody you don't know online. Basic, right? So that kid's learned a lesson pretty young and uh, hopefully you'll remember it and hopefully these people will just disappear these images might turn up online somewhere on some porn site the, the, the scammers are sold for five dollars an image or something but that's the risk he's gonna have to take he was stupid and he's learned his lesson now I tell people don't keep anything on any of your devices on your phones on your laptops that you don't want made public phones can be hacked apps can be hacked Phones can be stolen. Spyware can be put on phones. Even if you've got security on your phone, the phone can be unlocked. Um, one of the big things with phones, a lot of people think they've got security on the phone, but if you've got an SD card in your phone, it's easy to take that SD card out. And generally the SD cards are not encrypted. If you get access to somebody's phone and it's got an SD card in it, you can pop that SD card out in the memory card, pop that out in what? 10 seconds, 30 seconds max. You can copy it in a couple of minutes or you can just steal it. And again, you're gonna have all the images that's backed up on that SD card. So even those people's phones might have encryption on them. It's got an SD card, thank you very much. Now I know you must probably be thinking, well, this is a 14 year old kid. Well, there's, there's plenty of adults that do this stuff all the time. I hear about it all the time. Uh, supposedly mature adults sending nudes and sexually explicit videos to people, some unsolicited. And uh, you know what? You're waiting for that. If you do that type of stuff, you're stupid. If you're a voyeur, you like that type of thing, power to you. I respect that. But keep it against amongst people that like that type of stuff. Don't go sending unsolicited videos. I, I was contacted... A girl I know in the security business, never met her, talked to her online, very respectable, very professional, whatever. She asked me about some guy that's a little bit prominent in the security business, wrote a close protection book, vocal online, and I know of him. I blocked him on my social media because he's one of these people that puts stupid comments on other posts to draw attention to himself. Posts nothing of value, just likes to write off other people's posts. So I blocked him a long time ago on several social media platforms anyway he was trying to impress this girl apparently by telling her he's going to be taking over the the head of the sia association in uk which is the 
British Security Licensing Authority, Industry Authority or something, some bullshit. Which, she's wise, didn't really impress her. From what I understand from what he told her, his wife is uh, having an affair with somebody else or screwing around on him or something. I'll give him the benefit. He was dr drunk at the time and he sent her some pictures. Now, I'm not going to go into detail. She didn't go into too much detail on the pictures, but I don't think she had to. A little bit inappropriate. She never asked for them. So there you've got somebody that's ex-military, a little bit prominent in the security business, sending inappropriate pictures to somebody, to a lady half his age. I'll put it this way. If your wife's already screwing around on you, do you think a girl half your age is actually going to be interested in you? I don't think so. I have to start with it. Anyway, he should know a lot better. Because stuff like that, if it gets out there, can ruin your reputation, can ruin your business, can cause you problems, can be very embarrassing. So it's not just the little kids that's out there doing this stuff, teenagers. It's also mature adults. And I'm sure a few of you listening to this video have done it. So my word of advice, final word of advice on this is don't keep anything on your phone you don't want be, to be made public. Don't go sending any inappropriate pictures to people or anything to anybody that can come back and cause you problems. If you don't want anybody to know about it, keep it off your electronic devices. That nude or nudes or graphic photos you send people or graphic videos can come back to haunt you. Those limp dick pictures that you send ladies half your age that didn't ask for them can literally come back to poke you in the eye. So take this as a little bit of advice, a little bit of a warning, a little bit of education. And if you're not a voyeur, if you don't want everybody to see what you're up to or see what you're doing, then please, for your sake, keep your private pictures private.